good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another tinkercad lesson a user said hey how about something from code blocks so my friends let's get cracking all right so i'm gonna try and make this so clear that even if it is your first code blocks lesson you will be able to be successful so the first thing is sign into tinkercad and click code blocks we are going to create a new code block if you get this screen initially, just remember here's how you get a new design. When code blocks loads, you have got a screen where things are gonna happen, but you've gotta make the code that's gonna make them happen first. Our creation is gonna be a jet, so please click up top and then type your initials, and if you've made more than one, put a number after it so you can keep track. Before you build something, you need to name the object. And the object we're gonna name first by renaming the variable is we are gonna do the body of the plane or the fuselage. The body is way easier to type. We're gonna build that with a shape called a cylinder. So just grab the cylinder and drop it underneath. With code blocks, once you do that, you can hit play and your project draws. So we have got a code block that is at zero, zero on the X, which is red, Y and Z axis. It has parameters that we can open up. And I'm gonna slide this over so we can see the parameters better. And we're gonna adjust those to be five for the radius or how wide it is. And we're gonna make it 60 long. And then I want mine to be round. I'm gonna type 64 for how many sides it has. And now when we hit play, it redraws as a skinny body of an airplane. We need to adjust the way it aims. So we're gonna use the modify command and we're gonna rotate it drag that rotate command under. We're gonna leave the X axis and 90 degrees, and we're gonna put in the pivot point of zero, zero. When we hit play now, you can see it turns it over, but it's too low. We're gonna use a move command to raise it up so that it's at zero. To do that, we're simply gonna put a five right here. Notice now it raises up. I want the front of the body to be back here at zero. So we're gonna change this Y to 30. And what that does is it pushes it back 30, which is half of our height, even though we laid it down. And now the object is all the way to the back. Keep an eye on your neighbors, make sure they're typing these in as well. If you have any numbers different, it will change the project. So make sure you're helping your neighbors as you work. Let's put a nose on the front of this using a half sphere. When you drop the sphere in, click play to see where it lands. As it first arrives, we're gonna have to rotate that to make it cooler. Let's go back to our modify commands, find the rotate command. And once again, we're gonna rotate around X by 90 and let's put in that zero zero again and let's hit play to see where that's at. All right, so now we've got it turned the right way. Let's make it an awesome size. I'm gonna tell you that the numbers I want you to type here are 0.5 for X, and I want you to put 0.5 for Z, and that'll make it so it fits our tube. And then let's type a crazy number. Let's do 2.5 for Y. And when you hit play, check it out. We've got this crazy long nose that we can add to our aircraft. The only catch is it's in the wrong location. We're gonna fix that with the move command. When we're making moves, I like to move one piece at a time. Uh, X is the location here, left or right, so it's perfect. We're gonna leave it alone, but we're gonna change the height or the Z to five and see how that lines up. And you see that is perfect, but now we need to change the Y. This is past zero, because remember that's where zero is. So we're gonna try negative 10. that is close to the front, but it's not quite perfect. So let's do negative 12.5, which I have tested. And if you hit play, I'm gonna slide this across so it's instant. And you can see, boom, we have got the nose on our aircraft. All right, friends, one cool thing about this project is you can reuse certain code if you see a way to. We are gonna right click on the half sphere and we're gonna do duplicate. Drop it right below. Right click on the rotate and choose the delete two blocks. That'll get rid of this section and the degrees we pivot. 
let's change the color to a very light blue and hit play and I'll show you the idea here. This is going to be the cockpit where the person can sit but we've just got to change the measurements now because the shape is the same but we're going to scale it differently. Change the scale to 0.4, 1, and 0.8. Change the location to 15 back and a Z of 10. And hit play. Boom. You've got an instant half sphere cockpit added to your aircraft. Remember the scale was 0.41 and 0.8. What that did was made it skinnier and a little less tall, but plenty long. And then we moved it from 0, 15 back, so it could draw. And of course, 10 high. Keep an eye on your neighbors to make sure they were successful as well. And now we're going to create the engine. You can duplicate a lot of parts in Tinkercad, but you cannot duplicate new objects or variables. So let's create the new object and then rename it as engine. We are going to make the engine out of a cone. Simply move up to your shapes, grab that cone, and drop it in place. When we check its specs, we're going to change those specs. We're going to change the top radius to 3, the bottom radius to 5, and the height to 10. I also want it to be really round, so I'm going to put 64 for the sides. Now if we hit play quick, this will draw right in the middle, which is goofy and silly, because we want to put it back here. The first thing we're going to do is rotate it. So let's go back to modify, bring out that sweet rotate, then find the XYZ for the pivot. We're going to keep the 90. If we hit play real quick, you can see now it's aimed the right way, but we've got to move it to the right location. Back to our purple modify commands and move. And then in the move, we've got to move it back along Y and up along Z. So let's try 50 to the back. And let's try 5 up and see what we get. Notice we've got the right height because it's hiding, but we're not far enough back. So then we just keep walking it back until we're perfect. Let's try 65 and check it out. We have got an engine in the right spot. We just need to cut that engine out. We're going to do that super fast by breaking this apart, right clicking and duplicating it. So now we've got an entire copy. The copy though needs to be a whole and we're going to change its measurements just a little. Make the first one a two, make the second one a four, and then when we move it, we're going to move it to 66. Let's quickly connect those parts back together. You will see that it pokes out the back just a little bit, and then we're going to bring out a brand new command called group. And when we group the engine, you will see that it has cut it out and it's ready for launch. I'm also going to change the color really quick. I want my engine to be red. If we hit play, boom, we have just modified our plane to look how we want. You can modify all your colors to make your plane as cool as you want as you build it. You've now got a jet. You just need some wings. So once again, let's create that new object. Rename it and let's call it wing. We're going to build this with the roof, which is cool because it lets us build the wing to both sides at the same time. We do need to rotate it, so find your modify, and we're going to rotate it around X, 90 degrees, and once again, we're going to put in that zero, zero. When you hit play, take a peek at it, you can see that that can be a wing. It just needs to be scaled quite a bit different. Modify scale. Let's type in some numbers and see what we get. If we scale x by 5, let's just press play and take a look at that. You can see that's wide enough, but we need to scale y differently. Let's try y by 3. Hit play. That looks pretty decent for a wing, but that is way too thick. So for z, let's type 0 0.05. We'll make it real skinny. Check it out, you've now got a wing for your awesome jet. We just need to move it where it goes. 
Hopefully these steps are starting to make sense to you. Remember, we are moving along Y. So for our Y number, let's try typing 15 and press and play. That's not bad. We just need to raise it up and I'm gonna raise it up six and hit play. I like that. If you think you need a different center of gravity, remember you can just change these to get them to exactly what you want for your aircraft. I'm gonna do 16 just because I wanna be different. The last part I'm gonna do with you is the tail. So once again, we need to drag out a new create object. I'm gonna click rename and I'm gonna type tail. And then this is another one of those that we can reuse. I'm going to break this apart. I'm going to right click on the top piece and duplicate it. And I'm going to drop it underneath. And then I'm going to reconnect them. If we hit play right now, this tail would land right on top. So we're just going to change that a little bit by putting 60 for the Y. So if we hit play real quick, it's silly. We've got two tails. But hopefully you can figure out that we're just going to adjust the numbers. So we want this tail to be a lot thinner. So we're going to put a 2. And we want the Y to be a little thinner. So we'll put a 1. And if we hit play, boom, you've just created a tail for your jet. It's just in a silly location because, remember, we just guessed. Let's type 55 and let's change the height to 15 and hit play and see what that looks like. It's a little high. Let's try instead 10 and hit play. And I like that better. I'm going to change that to 9 so it's connected just a little better and hit play. All right, we need a vertical stabilizer and we're going to have that be part of the tail. This time we're going to use a different triangular shape. We're going to use the wedge. When you drop it underneath and hit play, you will see that it is not aimed the way we need. It is the exact opposite. So we're going to rotate around Z. So to fix this, we need to rotate around Z. This is the first time we changed the axis, so make sure you do that. And then also, we're going to drag this to 180 degrees. Once again, let's drop our pivot of 0, 0 in. Let's click play and see what we made. All right, friends, so it's aimed right now. We just need to scale it. Bring out our scale, and we need to make it real skinny. So let's do 0 0.05 for the scale of x. And let's do 0.5 for y and 0.5 for z. When we hit play, that is a decent size. And now we just need to move it to the correct location. Once again, grab your move block, drop it underneath. And since this was 55, let's guess that this is 55. And let's also use the same Z, which was 9, and hit play and see if we like it. <laughs> That's pretty good, but it's a little shorter than I wanted. I'm going to raise it up higher and see if it's just sunk below the project. If we hit play, boom, there's what I was looking for. I just did not have it at the correct height. Friends, there you have it. We have just created a really sweet code blocks jet. You can go back, play with it, make the colors however you want. Remember when you hit play, then you get to see it animate and it turns out pretty darn sweet. If you want to challenge, you can use the skills I've given you so far to actually create your own little missiles. Maybe add some bombs, maybe add some landing gear or something else you thought was super cool. Of course, as well, friends, when you're done creating, there is also the amazing share button. When you click share, it lets you zoom, orbit, and get it exactly the way you want. And then you can instantly save a screenshot that you could share with me or just your friends to show them how cool your creation turned out. If you do choose to share with me, remember you can track me down at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And you can also send me one on Gmail. You can also create an animated GIF that can be sent as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.